H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Welcome to the videos of H2K Infosys. So, in the last session, we have uh, finished up the data types part. And in this particular video, I am going to specifically speak about something known as the print command. Now, print command is, is a very powerful command because based on the usage of the print command, the results are shown in the console of Eclipse. The kind of results or the format of the result is also controlled by the way that we use the print command by itself. So we'll see first of all what is the usage of print command uh, and the difference between the print and the print ln command by itself. Okay. Now if you understand one particular thing, print command is basically used to print the results in the console of Eclipse. Print is nothing but a method present in the print stream uh, package of your uh, print stream class of the IO package rather. And it is used with the system class uh, to actually get the results in the console of Eclipse. So generally when we use the print command, we use system.out.println. Now system is an inbuilt class of Java which is nothing but a public final class. A public final class is that kind of class which cannot be inherited by any other class because of the final keyword used. So system is nothing but an inbuilt class which is having that modifier or access modifier called as the final modifier. So if you have a final modifier used with the class, that class cannot be inherited. So we will understand later on what is a access modifier and what is the inheritance okay but at, at this point of time let's understand that system is an inbuilt class of java okay and it has it is using a method called the out method okay which is basically used to throw the results in the console by using the print command or the print method present in the print stream class of the io package We'll also see the difference between the print and the print and command. Generally, when we use system.out.print, it actually prints out in the same line and the cursor does not move to the next line. Okay, whereas when we use the system.out.println, the cursor actually prints out a result in a line and then the cursor moves to the next line. That is what the print and command does. So we will see the practical approach of the print command. Okay. So what I am going to do is that I already have the um, Eclipse opened. So what I am going to do, I am going to create a new project. And the project will be called as session 6. I am going to choose the Java project. Click on next. And choose the project as 6 click on the next button out here and click the finish button of the pop-up window and say no to opening up a news perspective now in this particular project i'm going to create a package called as print package so i'm going to create the package by highlighting source going to new after right clicking on source and clicking on the package option i'm going to call this as the print package and inside the print package I'm going to create a new class by highlighting print package right clicking going to new and choosing of the class option so I'll call this as usage of print command that is the class name I'm going to use the main method because I want to get the result of the code in the console of Eclipse and click on finish. So we can see the package that is created that is print. 
inside the package of the class file and inside the class file body you have the main method and main methods also have a body now so let us first understand the usage of the print command okay so the print command is basically one of the methods which is present inside the print stream class of the io package and print stream class is used by the system class so that is why when we want to print out something we use system dot out dot print ln and within the parenthesis of the bracket basically we put whatever we want to type in so let's say this is the first line that is what i want to type in inside the console of eclipse so whatever we put within the parenthesis of the println method okay the it should be in string format and that is why i have put the double quotes out here and within the double quotes whatever is present will be thrown out in the console as it is okay now let me explain it println is nothing but a command if you see out here it basically takes a parameter which is of string type so whatever is present within the parenthesis of the println command is considered as the parameter if you see out here this is print stream this is nothing but the class file okay and this class file belongs to the io package out here okay and by itself the println method if you see it's a public method by itself which is having a void return type okay so that is how it is using out out is nothing but the uh, one of the what do you call uh, is it's one of the sub methods of the system uh, class okay and is basically a, a kind of a final method if you can see that it's a final method by itself it's a public static final method okay so it's actually used with the system class but belongs to the print stream class and then system as a whole this particular class is a public final class by itself the system class contains several use useful classes fields and methods you can see that this is a final class so a final class is nothing but a class which cannot be inherited so we'll understand the concept of inheritance later point of time but this is the command used for printing out the result in the console okay now let's say i basically save this particular class file and run it now what will happen is that the console will show the result or uh, rather throw the result in a line after throwing the result since i have used the print ln command what is going to happen is that the cursor after throwing the result will move the will move to the next line that means it moves to the new line that is why the print ln command is used so print ln command is a command to throw a result in a line and then it moves the cursor to the next line and that is why let's say i print out system or i write down a short format sys out short form for actually writing down system dot out dot print ln control space bar and i write down this is the second line okay now what is going to happen this part is going to be thrown in a line and the cursor moves to the next line so cursor is going to move to the next line so the next part will be thrown out in the new line where the cursor has moved so that is that is what i am trying to say that this particular line will be thrown out in the line in which the cursor is blinking right now after printing out that line that is this is the second line the cursor is again going to move to the next line so if i save this particular file and run it i'm seeing that the second line is get, getting printed in a new line after printing out this line the cursor is again going to move to the third line because i have used the print ln command now let's say in the third uh, third part of your print ln command let me print out uh, the result as this is the third line but instead of using the instead of using the print ln command i will use the print command 
so what is going to happen this is going to be print out in a fresh line after the since i have used the print ln command the cursor is going to move to the new line in the new line this is going to be printed out after printing out this line since the i have used the print ln command the cursor is going to move to the next line that is to the new line and in this particular line this is going to be printed out but after printing out this line the cursor will remain in the same line because i have used the print command not the print ln command so let us run this this is getting printed on the third line because of the print ln command used in the this particular line of code so that is why this is getting printed in a fresh line so after printing out this particular line that is called this is the third line the cursor will remain in the same line after printing out so the cursor is not going to move to the next line after printing out this line it will not move to the next line out here so let's say i right now give a print ln command as sys out and i print out this is the fourth line now what is going to happen after printing out this line the cursor remains in the same line because i have used the print command so what is going to happen this line is going to be thrown out with this line so the same line will have the result that is the result is this is the third line and this is the fourth line after printing out this is the fourth line the cursor is then going to move to the new line because in the fourth line i have used the print ln command so if i save this class file and run it i will see that the console shows me this particular result which result this is the fourth line and this is the third line in the same line and that is happening because after printing out this line the cursor does not move to a new line and that is because of the fact i have used the print command with this code but in this particular part i have used the print ln command so since i have used the print ln command after printing out this part the cursor is going to move to the new line so after this if i type in sys out this is the fifth line now what is going to happen this is going to be typed in a new line because in the earlier line i have used the print ln command okay now if i remove the ln command from the fifth line what is going to happen it is going to be printed out in a new line because of print ln command present in the earlier code but the cursor will blink out here in the same line it will not move to a new line because there is no print ln command out here so if i save this file and run it i'll get this line in a new line because of the print ln command used in the earlier code but after printing out this line the cursor is not going to move to the new line okay this is how the print and the print ln command works and we will see the power of print ln command with certain other examples also when we actually create uh, more codes so that's about it so thanks very much for watching this particular video